Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. Our love and romance and all sorts of hugging connection coach, uh, Michelle Fabrica, <laughs> is with John and I today. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Art. Hi, John. Hi, Michelle. Uh, your topic is now or never. Now or never what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, um, what I wanted to bring up today is that, you know, you know, hopefully it seems like we're emerging from this pandemic. And I think a lot of us have really changed. And, you know, we really got the rug pulled out from under us. Some of us have lost friends and loved ones and life seems more precious, more tenuous. And so I really want, I'd like to invite people to recognize just this fleeting nature of life, the fragility of it. And so given that, you know, what are you not doing that, that needs to be, that you want to do? And cause like we don't have forever. Right. And that's, you know, now or never, maybe that's a bit dramatic, but I'm into that sometimes. <laughs> so, you know, all of this, like whether it's something you want to try, maybe it's a conversation that you want to have. Maybe it's some love and appreciation you want to express to a loved one or a friend, you might not always have that chance, right? And we all know this, but I just, I like to bring it up because I think it's really important. It is important. And, and of course, Celebrating Act Two is really talking to people over 50. Um, and there's a lot of people over 50 in their 60s, 70s, 80s, even their 90s. And no matter how old you get, I found, um, you still don't have a sense of impending now i know some people do maybe people are very sick but i don't have a sense of impending um death or it's over you know i'm not worried about uh dying in a year or even 10 who knows hmm. and yet at the same time i also as you point out intellectually know that i'm not going to live forever and there's things that i need to do that I should have done. Tell certain people I love them. Get back, uh, get back in touch with cousins that I haven't seen in 50 years. Um, but I'm sure everybody's got their own list of what you should do now. All those things that you didn't do and you shouldn't put off. Yeah, so I know this, you use the word should I think at least three times in there and yes. apologize for calling you out on that. But I like to get curious about, you know, it's why well, don't want people to should on themselves. <laughs> you probably heard that term like, you know, crapping on yourself, but shooting on yourself. So, yes. So yes. And it's what I'm kind of thinking more about. It's like, what do you want to do? Like what will feel good to do? And also maybe what will feel badly if you don't do it. So maybe yeah. that's that's kind of like a should maybe, but just that word I, I have a, a response to. But anyway, gotcha. just want to call that out. But but basically, yeah. So it's it's but it's also about things that you would love to do. Like maybe you do want to travel, but you just haven't made the arrangements. And you know, when we're ready to travel, we'll see, you know, if it's safe, et cetera, where you feel comfortable, what you can afford. But like to not put off things that like light you up whether it's things on your bucket list or like, like you were talking about, as I mentioned, you know, loved ones, people that you uh, want to express something to or how something was meaningful that you didn't get a chance to share with them. So it's, um, I, I think it's good to get curious about this because a lot of us maybe had ideas growing up or this unfortunate learning that, um, you know, being curious makes everybody uncomfortable or, you know, why would you want to do that? Or, you know, that's ridiculous or dangerous or expensive or frivolous. Right. And it's like, you know, maybe you want to take tap dancing lessons, right. Or maybe you want to, you know, I don't know, learn to scuba dive or something like it, it's, it's never some things, you know, maybe we don't have the capacity anymore and then we can, you know, okay, it's not going to happen and that's okay. But it's about really getting curious and, um, recognizing that life is short. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I was um, on this very topic, uh, and that's a really wonderful thing about talking to you is that uh, you're a love and relationship, relationship with others who are you're intimate with or uh, uh, family or just relationship with the world in general. And I was thinking uh, back to uh, 
the uh, uh, early uh, 20th century uh, pandemic, where uh, shortly after that were the Roaring Twenties. And I think that was quite frankly, in many ways, a knee-jerk reaction, particularly of younger people, under 50, if you will, of, uh, uh, of reacting to having been cooped up in all the death and dying and uncomfortableness around them. So I expect that there's going to be a Roaring Twenties, especially for younger uh, generations. But now that our audience of uh, 50 plus is not just living to 65 or 70, but into their 80s and 90s, and we have the help and the wherewithal uh, to do it, that perhaps this is as a, a good a time as any to say, you know what, now or never is a, a good thought to have. There are things that yeah. we can do that we are blessed having the time to do. So let's get around and do it because we've got the time, whereas our predecessors uh, 50, 60, 100 years ago uh, probably didn't have that luxury. So that's really kind of... Uh, Interesting way to look at um, uh, uh, people in our age bracket. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think it's just, um, I don't want people to be like overly concerned with, you know, oh my God, I could die. And this is, you know, that's not a place I'm trying to encourage, but it's more about recognizing the truth of it and then live with the vibrancy and the savoring of now. And how can I make now richer, more, not money-wise, but like, you know, more intense, more beautiful, more exquisite. And what sure. would that mean? Who would I speak to? And what activities would I try or experiment with? So it's more about like, just, just, yeah, sucking the marrow out of life even more in this moment and, yes. and going for it. Yes. Enjoying life. It's not about the should, it's about the opportunity. <laughs> Take the opportunity. Yeah. Good. Michelle, thank you so much. You're welcome. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.